Welcome back to the channel guys. One thing I always try to push onto you is don't buy watches as just an investment. Buy something that you love and enjoy to wear. And one thing I can never lie about is the fact that watches can actually be an investment. And I invest in watches myself. You know, that's something that I got used to doing as a dealer. But I also have a private collection, a collection that I froze my personal money into you know, on the hope that yes, the value of them will go up, but also I enjoy them at the same time. And in this case, I believe this is one of the best or yeah, one of the best modern Rolex investments that you can make. Let's unbox it together. Now this watch, just to give you the heads up, it usually comes with a much bigger uh, box, but uh, uh, as I'm recording this in my studio, not the office, this is the only box I have at the moment, and it is the Rolex Platinum Daytona 116506, and I'll show you some close-ups of it. So cutting right to the point, why do I think this is one of the best modern Rolex investments you can make? Well, this is the 116506, which checking today on Chrono24, there are around 168 of them available for sale on Chrono24. So that's 168 of them available worldwide, not just in the UK. Now, of course, there's the argument that um, there probably be a lot of them available not on Chrono24, you know, not every dealer is on Chrono24, but most dealers are, and let's just go by Chrono24 for now. Now, 168 watches doesn't sound like it's a rare quantity, but if you compare it to the, <coughs> the so-called hard-to-find ceramic steel Daytona, there is hundreds and hundreds of that watch available. But let's dig a little bit deeper. This is not just a standard 116506. This is the 116506 with the, uh, with the baguette diamond dial. So digging a little bit deeper on Corona 24, as of today, the 23rd uh, of September 2020, there's only 17 of them available online for sale. Plus this one. Now, just so that this doesn't appear as a sales pitch, I am not trying to sell this onto you. This watch is already sold to one of my customers who's actually one of my viewers and uh, became very quickly a good friend. And uh, like I promised, next time you're in London, dinner is on me. So this watch retails around 63,000 pounds in the UK and the plain version of it without the diamonds retails just under 60,000 pounds. This exact watch, the market value of it at the moment hovers around the 75,000 pounds plus minus, you know, up to 80 and some people are asking even more than 80. Um, why do I think it's one of the best modern investments you can make? Well, because it's already fetching a nice premium. It's not a hyped stainless steel watch. This is full platinum. It weighs a ton. And um, I believe when it gets discontinued, and they're only my thoughts, these are only my thoughts. You can laugh at me as much as you want, but I believe as soon as you stick discontinued next to this uh, 116506, the chances are this watch is going to be a hundred thousand pound plus watch and um, you can hold me on to that and i don't think they're going to be producing this for a very 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 long time because it's been out there for a while now and um, even with it being out there for a while you notice that there's not a lot of of it available for sale online and that's because the people that tend to buy it are people that tend to keep and enjoy it why do I think it's one of the best again? Not just because of the financial aspect of it, but because of the value you get when you buy this watch. Um, it's a fully platinum watch. So yes, you might think to yourself, a well, platinum looks like white gold, looks like stainless steel. So um, what's the point of buying platinum? Well, the thing is, you can say that about almost anything. What's the point of buying a high-end watch when you can buy a, an expensive fake that looks exactly the same? Well, you know that it's fake, so it's not pleasing you, and it's exactly the same satisfaction you get when you buy a platinum watch. You know it's platinum. It's not about what the others think, it's about what you think. And the nice thing about this watch is, if you want other people to know it's platinum, it's fairly clear. This dial and this bezel, the combination, it only came out on platinum. 
So every time you look at a watch, you see exactly where the money's gone. And genuinely, it's a stunning looking dial. It's it's one of the best dials I've seen on a modern Daytona. This is a really, really, really nice watch. Um, it feels very good on the wrist. I tell you, it wears heavy, but that's the nature of platinum. It is a heavy metal, but you know, the, uh, the combination of the brown ceramic bezel and the ice blue diamond dial is absolutely stunning and it just screams out platinum. So when you're with the right people, they're gonna know it's platinum. Unfortunately, so are the wrong people. They're gonna know it's platinum. So you better hide your wrist when you're out there, out and about and then just show it off in the right places, I guess. But that would go with any Rolex that you'd buy, even as simple as a Datejust. You're gonna flash it out in the wrong places, you're gonna get robbed, simple as. Just to mention the specs, it is a 40 mil, the movement, everything else is exactly the same as the steel, exactly the same as the gold versions of it. Nothing is changed besides the aesthetics of it and of course the fact that it's platinum. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I'll be very interested to see what you think about it. Keep an open mind. I know that it's out of a lot of people's league financially, but it's nice to keep an open mind. You know, I watch and fantasize watches that I can't afford myself, but hey ho, it's nice to learn something new every day. I definitely learn something new every day. And by the way, um, I did not wear this on the odd chance. I cheesily tried to match exactly the same color as the dial. So um, yeah, you can laugh about that as well. Take care guys and see you in the next one.